Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 6 Lost Borders. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, outside of Quilt. Also, since last time I did the fishing and uh, I was able to get a lot of new fish, about 8 new fish, um, because of the new baits that I was able to uh, receive. And with that, I got two new party skills, which are really, really good. Uh, one gives you an extra 10% gold after every single battle. The other one gives you an extra 10% of experience after every single battle. So I highly recommend that you do this fishing as soon as humanly possible. So, yeah. Uh, with that, that's pretty much all I did. Um, I did do one battle that was just kind of out here. It was a random battle, and I got a treasure and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, really the fishing is the main thing that I would focus on uh, right now. But anyway, let's get into this story right here. Uh, yeah, I guess in the future. Oh, yeah. It seems that uh, the summons and the people kind of work together. Yeah, and they all live together. And apparently the worlds are connected in Summonite 5 and the future in general, whereas in Summonite 4 the worlds aren't connected. Yeah, or they're all at war with each other. I mean, I guess it was before the World War War, so it makes sense. Well, there's a lot of cultural differences and everything. Yeah, I would imagine that there's a lot of problems between the different worlds and everything. Yeah, we had to kind of beat it into him multiple times in Summon Night 5. Oh, yeah. No, that's not the way that the world works. Not everybody can always be happy all the time. We're not all incredibly optimistic like all JRPG protagonists. Yeah, why do you say that? Oh, well, thanks. Well, of course I do. Okay, well, we will as long as we can, you know, get out of here. We're kind of trapped right now. It's like we're in jail almost. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay. Ray reminds me a lot of Jude from Summer Night 4. Just the way that he's like a little kid, bright eyed and bushy tailed, and he's always happy and he's always looking for like, you know, the good in people and all that kind of stuff. And Wild Arms 4 was probably honestly my favorite Wild Arms game. So, yeah, I like the little relation there. Oh. Uh, sure. What's up? No, I think that more people will fall into this world if we just wait around. I mean, eventually they'll come. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Or we could just, you know, go back home to Ist's house and wait for him to look at his TV screens and then tell us where they are. That would be the easiest, most convenient way to do it, rather than just wandering around aimlessly looking for people. No kidding, I'm with Torque here. Oh, do you have some sort of extrasensory ability? Oh, yeah, probably not. Okay. Oh, really? Huh. Do you see someone or smell someone? Yeah, no kidding. Well, where are they? Say long. Okay. Say long is a guy from um, Summonite 4. He was the person in Summonite 4 who was pretty much looking for Lyrum the entire game. So, yeah. It's kind of interesting each game falls into, like, one particular world. 
Oh, this is really pretty. I like this. This is nice. But we also get voiced scenes here, so I'm gonna shut my mouth. We're close. Just ahead here. Found you, Saylong. Mm hmm? Oh, huh. Oh, finally. Humans. But wait. How did you know my name when we've never met before? First time meeting? No! You've been freeloading at Ray's Tavern forever! Lady Lisha, I see you are here as well. <laughs> Excellent! We must celebrate this reunion. But I must ask, who are these people with you? So, he knows Lisha, but not me or Ray? The Guardian Dragon's bodyguard shouldn't be joking around about stuff like this, you know? You guys are the ones joking around. Cut it out already. You're scaring her. Uh, that girl, she's not ordinary. Sense the same ability as learn in her. Who are you people? And how do you know about the dragon child? She's not human? An otherworld resident, then? You. The same magical sense. Mama, these people are scaring me. Hey, look. You're the copycat here, crybaby! Lur <laughs> made a girl cry! I did not! It just... happened! <laughs> Mama! It's okay, Milreef. I'll protect you. Yes. You do have the same dragon scent as the dragon child, coming from those blue eyes. Hold it! That dragon child you're talking about is supposed to be me! What is going on here, Lady Lisha? Hey, don't ask me. I'm just as confused as you are. Maybe more. Only Crowry, the leader of the scattered bodyguards, remains. If we can just get our hands on the last legacy, the Dragon Child will finally become the Solstice Dragon. What? But we're thrown into an unfamiliar world with a bunch of phonies. It seems like an enemy plot. No idea what you're talking about. But if this is a trap, we'll beat our way out of it. Ray, did you hear what Ceylon just said? Could it be? Yeah, at the very least, it seems like they came from a timeline slightly before ours. Fulth was right then. This place is a mashup of different times and worlds. Lady Lisha, he is the enemy. Do not be deceived by him. Yeah, don't be fooled by an imposter, Lisha. I'm not your enemy or an imposter. Come on, can you just listen for a minute? Surely you jest. I, Ceylon shall efface the scoundrels misrepresenting the Dragon Child's name. Watch out! Whoa! That kick was as lethal as Grandmaster Raiji's. Mean man with the strange horn, stop trying to hurt Big Bro! I don't know. This whole situation is so completely messed up. <sighs> Well, here we go again. All we can do is work to make it end as well as the last encounter. For boss time against Ceylong and Fair themselves. So Lishra needs to defeat Ceylong and Ray needs to defeat Fair. Can do. Fair is essentially the female lead party member of Summonite 4, so she's Ray's opposite. And this Millreef girl is, uh, Lirum's opposite as well. If you chose, like, a female dragon as your sidekick instead of choosing a male dragon as your sidekick. So, there you go. And Ceylon is the guardian of the dragon, so, there. Oh, yeah, no kidding. So, we gotta hit them first, kick the crap out of them. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so let's see. Actually, you know what? I think I got connect with everybody, so let's go ahead and just start doing that. Uh, there we are. Your turn. Let's start. And let's see. You are really good at magic, but I don't think that anything's actually gonna hit at this point. So yeah, you just chill. I'm done. See if you can keep up. Let's do this. Okay, can you actually go through here? Heck, who do you need to? You need to kill Ceylon. So let's get you over here, and uh, let's get some damage going on in here. Let's see. 
Uh, what is this guy actually weak to? Uh, he resists Yokai, that's lovely. He doesn't have that much HP, though. Uh, let's see. Let's just deal. Let's just do this. Yeah, get some damage in. Ooh, I see a treasure! Back there, I doubt that I'll actually have time to get to the treasure, but it's there. Bam! Whoa! Hey! Got him! Nice! That was incredibly easy. Okay, let's see if I can't soften this girl up right here. Uh, that's a decent amount of damage right there. Uh, let's see. That's actually good, too. What about a Shine Saber? Ooh, that's even better. Nice! Your turn. Okay, hopefully you can just do her in, and that would be that. Let's see, we'll have you use a sign, shine, say, actually, is that, how does that not even hit? Like, seriously? Wow, I guess that's the only thing that will hit, so hopefully this gets her. Please? Yeah. Thank you! Did it! All done! What did you expect? Hey! Wait, did I... I did the opposite? Oh... Great. Whatever. <laughs> God, I'm dumb. Oh man, I'm retarded. I'll have to redo that bat. Well, I have to do it for the treasure anyway. Whoa! Wow, they really do look similar, don't they? Bandits? We're not bandits. What is it? You call her Lady Shopkeeper? Seriously? You can't just call her Lady Fair? Lady Shopkeeper? That's different. Oh, that is true. Yeah, that's right. How did I get that? Like, I completely messed that battle up. Eh, you guys get the- you guys get the gist of the battle. Just have the one go after the one and the other go after the other. The end. Man, I screwed that one up bad. <laughs> Ruth's bangle? What's that? Oh. Huh. Yeah, can we just get a black screen to explain right now? That would be lovely. Oh, or we could actually explain it on screen. That works too. we go. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Although, I think that this is the first time that two heroes from the same game of different genders have actually met each other. I mean, we had Magna and Taurus, but they didn't actually meet. Already? We're such good friends? Um, if you say so. So you're gonna call him Lord Ray, but she still gets Lady Shopkeeper? Shouldn't he get Lord Shopkeeper? Uh, he is. Oh. Well, what's wrong with his way of speech? Yeah. God, you guys are, like, quick to judge. Man. A bunch of Judge Judy's over here. Good lord. Okay. Good to have you around as well. Eh, uh, get used to it, Twerk. It's gonna keep on happening. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, alternate dimensions and all that kind of stuff. So you come from the same time as, um, Leisha and Ray, but a different dimension because, you know, you chose the female path rather than the male path, I guess. They're kind of dead. <laughs> 
Well, that is true. Oh. Yeah. No kidding. It's also kind of bizarre that they made Ist the main character of this uh, story, even though this is the first time that Ist has popped up. Yet, apparently, Fulth is right with this theory. Oh, you just teleported in? Huh. I like this music. It's nice. Like, this, to me, should be, like, the main theme of Summonite series. It's just a really nice, adventurous theme. I really like it. That's because he comes from this world. He comes from Fallujah. Yeah, and he's kind of a god or something. Do we really have to go through this again? Can we just get a black screen right now? That would be great. I guess you made things less complicated just by accepting us. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, no kidding. Do you know how we came here? Oh, you do. Well, spill it. The world called you here from different worlds and different times, so it wasn't Ist. It was Fallujah itself. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Some overseer you are. There must be somebody else, someone higher up the ladder than Ist, who's like the master overseer who's doing all this? Or maybe there's somebody in Lindbaum who's adversely affecting this world. I don't know. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah. Come on in. Join our party map. Oh. Yeah, you kind of do look like a pair of twins, I've got to say. Ooh, you're the dominant one. Uh, sure. No, 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 actually no, Torque. It's uh, Lisher and Casus who are insufferable, not them. They're fine. Oh. Oh, okay, so Fallujah is actively seeking stronger people. But why? For what purpose? Okay. Oh, very good. And see what the next chapter has in store for us on Let's Play Summonite 6 Lost Borders. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.